staggering success of Starbucks. With nearly 30,000 cafes scattered across the globe, Starbucks is basically like that cool friend everyone wants to hang out with. You know, the one with the iconic cups that sometimes double as personalized name art misspellings included. From a humble coffee bean shop in Seattle, they've turned into this massive $80 billion business over the last 47 years. In the US alone, Starbucks has over 14,000 spots, proudly claiming a whopping 57% of the entire cafe market. Yep, you heard it right, 57%. Almost two-thirds of all the coffee sipped at U.S. cafes come straight from the Starbucks magic beans. So how did they pull off this coffee takeover? Well, grab your snack because we're spilling the beans in this video. But hey, before we dive in, do us a solid and hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. Ranked fifth on Fortune's list of the world's most admired companies, Starbucks owes its success to keeping things consistent and cool. This American coffeehouse chain, now in 70 countries, has truly come a long way. Join us as we take a fun ride through Starbucks' awesome journey. Let's kick off with the beginning of the Starbucks adventure. Back in 1971, Jerry Baldwin, Zev Siegel, and Gordon Bowker teamed up to launch the first Starbucks store in Seattle's Pike Place Market. Their mission? To create a welcoming spot that dished out top-notch coffee. But, you know, the road from a tiny shop to worldwide stardom wasn't exactly a walk in the park. Starbucks took things one step at a time, gradually adding more spots. Fast forward to 1987, and they had five stores in Seattle. Then enters Howard Schultz, who bought the company during the early 1980s, Inspired by a trip to Milan, Italy, he decided to transform the coffee bean store into a haven for espresso-based drinks. Serving as the CEO from 1986 to 2000, Schultz's first stint witnessed a bold expansion, starting in Seattle and spreading across the west coast of the United States. Roll into the 1990s, and Starbucks took off like a rocket, popping up stores left and right across North America and around the world. People were craving specialty coffee in that distinct Starbucks vibe. By focusing on quality and maintaining a consistent atmosphere, Starbucks turned into the symbol of premium coffee culture. As we stepped into the 21st century, Starbucks kept the innovation train rolling and widened its horizons. They jumped onto the digital bandwagon by rolling out their nifty mobile app, giving customers the power to make purchases and snag rewards all from the comfort of their smartphones. By July 2013, over 10% of in-store purchases happened through the Starbucks app, proving the company's knack for keeping up with what customers want. Fast forward to March 2018, and Starbucks threw blockchain technology into the mix. Why? To bring some transparency into their supply chain game, connecting coffee lovers directly with the hardworking coffee farmers. This cool program, called Bean to Cup, wasn't just a tech flex. It aimed to uplift farmers and spill the beans, pun intended, on the coffee's origins for customers. It was Starbucks' way of shouting, hey, we're all about ethical sourcing and sustainability. Ever since it kicked off, Starbucks has had this awesome goal of inspiring and nurturing the human spirit, one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. How cool is that? To bring this vision to life, Starbucks is all about fostering a culture that's big on acceptance and cheers on personal growth. They're not just about coffee, they're about creating genuine connections with their suppliers, employees, and you the customer. And let's talk about their marketing game. It's a game changer for them. They know how to hit the bullseye by putting the right product in front of the right people at the perfect time and place. It's like they have a magic wand for marketing. So Starbucks plays the marketing game using the four PS, product, price, promotion, and place. Let's start with the products. They're all about being the best in quality and customized to local taste. Sure, it might cost a bit more, but hey, that top tier quality justifies it. And get this, if you're not feeling your drink, no worries. The barista's got your back with a fix. Plus they sprinkle in some global flavors like matcha frappuccino and pumpkin pie in Japan. It's like a taste tour around the world. Now, on to price Starbucks rocks the value-based and flexible pricing scene. Yeah, it might be a tad pricey, but folks are totally cool with it because the quality and taste are off the charts. 
It's like a premium coffee experience that's worth every sip. When it comes to promotion, Starbucks keeps it snazzy with unique and creative advertising. They don't throw stacks of cash at marketing, but man, do they make a splash. Forget the traditional ads. They're all about word of mouth and cool campaigns. It's like their marketing secret sauce. Last but not least, Place Starbucks sets the stage with uniquely designed stores in different places. You can find them everywhere, making it a breeze to get your Starbucks fix. Their stores are like a comfy third place. Not home, not the office, but that perfect spot in between. No wonder people can't resist popping in. Starbucks is all about connecting with customers in the digital realm through a snazzy marketing strategy. They're rolling out cool ways to lure in digitally registered customers, think mobile orders and Wi-Fi sign-ins at their stores. Oh, and going cashless with Starbucks cards? That's like a turbo boost for their business. Now check out their social media game. It's on point. Their accounts showcase a unique brand vibe with eye-catching visuals, interactive posts, and content that's basically a feast for your eyes. They've got it all. Cool pics, videos, recipes, articles, you name it. And it's not just a random mishmash. Starbucks breaks down its social media content into sweet campaigns that keep things interesting. It's like a digital coffee break you didn't know you needed. Starbucks Red Cup shenanigans are like a holiday marketing fiesta. Every holiday season, folks are practically doing a happy dance in anticipation of these snazzy red cups, signaling the arrival of festive drinks. It's become this social media sensation. And guess what? It's now a yearly tradition. The red cup magic is all about keeping it simple but hitting you right in the feels. It taps into that warm, fuzzy holiday spirit, turning a regular cup into a full-blown tradition. And don't even get us started on their seasonal drinks. It's like they sprinkle holiday magic in every sip, creating this urgent need to indulge in some seasonal goodness. But here's the kicker. Starbucks doesn't just stop at tasty drinks and cool cups. They want you to be part of the fun. Share your red cup moments on social media, and bam, you're now a full-fledged Starbucks cheerleader. It's like turning a coffee break into a festive celebration that everyone wants to be a part of. This campaign is basically a masterclass in how Starbucks weaves together products, experiences, and a whole lot of emotion in their marketing game. Cheers to that. Starbucks, like any successful crew, had its fair share of hurdles. In April 2018, a bit of a hiccup went down at a Philadelphia Starbucks, leading to the arrest of two folks. That incident set off protests and claims of racial bias. But hold on, Starbucks didn't just sit on their hands, they hustled into action mode. CEO Kevin Johnson stepped up with a public apology and dropped the bombshell that they'd be shutting down over 8,000 stores for a day to give their employees some solid racial bias training. Talk about taking things seriously. It was a clear sign that Starbucks isn't just about coffee. They're about tackling societal issues and keeping that brand image shining. Then, cue the year 2020 and the COVID-19 chaos. Starbucks had to shake things up, closing down its cafe-only joints in the U.S. and flipping the script to focus on drive through and delivery. But here's the kicker. They promised their crew a paycheck, whether they were clocking in or not, for the next 30 days. Sure, sales took a hit, but Starbucks didn't back down. They pivoted, pushing digital orders, contactless payments, and home deliveries like it was a caffeine-fueled dance. It's like they turned a tough situation into an opportunity to show resilience and adaptability. That's how you weather the storm, Starbucks style. In December 2020, Starbucks rolled out some big plans. They're aiming to have around 55,000 stores by 2030. It's like they're shouting, Hey world, we're not slowing down anytime soon. This grand expansion isn't just about opening more shops. It's about spreading the Starbucks love far and wide, making those tasty treats accessible to folks all over. Fast forward to 2023, and Starbucks is still rocking the innovation boat. Their CEO, Laxman Narasimhan, is all in. In a surprising move, he announced he'd be rolling up his sleeves and spending half a day behind the store counter each month. Now that's not your typical CEO move, right? It's like he's saying, I'm diving into the grind to keep the brand vibe real and stay close to our awesome customers. 
It's hands-on dedication, and it shows Starbucks is all about giving patrons an experience that's a cut above the rest. Summing it up, Starbucks' journey from a small coffee bean slinger to a global coffeehouse icon is a wild success tale of dreams, creativity, and adaptability. They've climbed to the coffee industry summit thanks to their commitment to quality, ethical sourcing, and a killer customer experience. Starbucks isn't just a coffee joint. It's a vibe, a place to belong, and a canvas for creating lasting memories. Their mix of top-notch products, strategic locations, and emotional connection has made them rulers of the global coffee realm and marketing wizards. As Starbucks keeps on growing and shaking things up, it's like a testament to the magic of a fantastic idea and an unwavering chase for excellence. From beans to frappuccinos, from mobile apps to blockchain, Starbucks is always pushing the envelope on what a coffee company can do. The future for Starbucks? Bright as those beautifully roasted coffee beans that have become the heart of its legacy. Cheers to the coffee revolution.